Video cast number 112, working in a patrol. Anyone who has been to Wood Badge might find this Scoutmaster Dave familiar, as working in a patrol is a major part of Wood Badge. So take Wood Badge, it's really good. Working in a patrol can be hard and actually goes through stages to become a team. The first stage is referred to as forming. This is where scouts get to know each other, a bit like sort of like a baby bird in a nest. They don't do very much, but at least they're not beating each other up with sticks. The second stage of the team development is storming, where they start to work together and begin to push against the boundaries from the first phase. You see a lot of arguing and complaining in this stage. Scouts can be frustrated and want to bail from the patrol because of differing styles and ways of doing things. In the next stage called norming, most of the problems are worked out. They figure out ways of working together and start to all point in the same direction. The last phase is called performing. And as the name indicates, they become an organized team and meet challenges together. How long does each group spend in any one of these stages? It's really dependent on the group. As I'm sure you've seen, some groups just get it and start to work together while some never really get there. As a leader, you can help this process along somewhat by at first being a mediator and then evolving into a coach for the group. But there's rarely a group that doesn't make some kind of progress when they're dealing with an adult leader directly. The issues really are that they need to be able to work together when the leader is not looking over their shoulders. This is especially true with younger scouts, as maturity is the great equalizer and the petty nonsense seems to drift away or at least turn to apathy when they mature. Where it's possible, you want to try and have patrols that are a good balance of leadership and maturity. Out of the eight scouts, if you have a core of three scouts that can carry the water, so to speak, it makes it easier to bring the other five up through teamwork and maturity. You can help this along by encouraging team projects and exercises. One of the more common is a camping trip. For a general camping trip, scouts camp and eat by patrol. This means they have tent mates and determine a menu and a shopping list and figure out who is purchasing supplies for the patrol. During all of this, it's important to stress working together as a team to solve these problems. A good start is to organize a duty roster for the trip and get all the attending to agree. Additionally, you want to steer your lone wolves back into the group and not let them suffer in silence or take on larger responsibilities like planning the menu independently from the rest of the group. Sometimes, admittedly, it's like herding cats. The more opportunities you give to the group to show them the benefits of teamwork, the stronger the group can become. Doing this will allow them to see that it actually does get easier when everyone is pulling in the same direction. Invariably, however, you'll come across one scout that is a detriment to the group, that despite your best efforts will not work as a team. These individuals tend to talk back and have excuses for everything from why they couldn't clean a pot to why they can't get firewood. As the leader, you need to reinforce why we need to follow our structure and explain why it's important to be a good teammate. At the end of the day, however, sometimes you need to move a scout to another patrol, or if the situation warrants it, to let the scout family know that the troop may not be for him or her. This is not the Marines where you leave no man behind. You need to do what's ultimately best for the troop. If you have one child that does not want to participate as expected, then you need to get ahead of it. What you don't want is for your higher performance to decide that it's not worth their efforts and drop or change troops. Then you aren't left with a functioning troop or patrol. Take what you like, leave the rest. As we say in Woodbatch, feedback is a gift. 
Leave yours below in the comments with all the hope we can learn together. I'm Scoutmaster Dave, and this was a little on working in a patrol.